which is based, I later learned, on another book from the 70s that was written by a, another army colonel, forget his name, I did research on it, where in The Last Starfighter, he goes and plays the video game, and he's really being surveilled to see who can pilot the ship, and then the aliens come and get him and take him up, and then you see Ender's Game, you know, basically has the same story. Well, it's not aliens, folks, it's globalist. You've got everybody in these combat simulators being desensitized for war, being, being conditioned for killing, uh, being, uh, being normalized. And then it turns out, oh, the Pentagon in the 50s began funding secret research that in the 60s was deployed to some of the first ground combat simulators for troops. And they found in Vietnam it made people go from 50% of the time not killing somebody up close to 90 plus percent of the time killing somebody. Because if you don't have a killer instinct, you'll be dead Marine, to quote Full Metal Jacket. We're in combat murder simulators, and you tell people that are addicted to them, hey, you know that's a combat murder simulator. And they go, hey, don't talk about my video games, Alex. You stay out of it. You stay out of it right now. That's my games. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, I've seen grown adults, some of them famous people, I'm not going to say their names, go, you know that's a combat simulator to... Well, I don't have any problem with it. No, no, no. For most people, it's an arrested development to keep men from launching till age 28 now is the average age, you can look at the university studies, for men now to launch and to try to get their own house and a woman. I launched at age 12, ladies and gentlemen. I launched and and started acting like a man, getting in serious fist fights, going and, and, and going after 16-year-old girls when I was 12, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying I'm some super male or anything, but I mean, I launched at 12. I was out of the house at 17. I was dating girls in college when I was 15 years old. I see the average men around, and they are literally little boys. But then they act like men and act like thugs. Being a man now is acting like a thug, the media has put out. And women think somebody acting like a thug is a man. A man somebody that shows up to work on time. A man's somebody that gets up at 3 a.m. and goes and helps their friend who's been in a car wreck. A man's somebody that doesn't back down from tyranny. A man's somebody that has a serious mind and is focused and is aggressive. Not what we see here today. And I'm, I'm going off the deep end here talking about a bunch of issues of mind control. But television, the culture, all of it is mind control. And, I, and I've been talking to a lot of top people. Why in all these movies now is it anti-New World Order, anti-government? Because they know in the polls, Congress has a 6% approval rating. They know by the NSA spying and the big aggregate computer systems that feed all intel in to the supercomputers on record. They can predict the future now. They can predict mass movements. They are trying to give you a simulated fake revolution in cyberspace and in Hollywood and a revelation of the method, externalization of the hierarchy to give you the archetypes of the Herculean hero of a thousand faces so that you can believe that the evil has been defeated as the real evil accelerates. And, of course, even most of the writers and producers of these films, I've been able to talk to some of them over the years, they're allowed to put it out. They're even good people. And they don't even know why they're being allowed to put all this out. They're being allowed to put all this out because it's a simulated victory you're supposed to have, not a real one. I mean, I, was, I saw some ad on one of my YouTube videos today that was for a Star Wars game about create your command base. Create your fortress. They pick the carpet and the fixtures. And, and, and this is where for men and women to go and imagine their imaginary world, ladies and gentlemen, instead of really building a real one. They don't want you on the game board in reality. They want you in fantasy land, ladies and gentlemen. So that they can tell you, well, you know, uh, Alex Jones is discredited. Yeah, there's no Chinese involvement. There's no Harry Reid involvement. There's no solar farm. It was 100 miles away. It had nothing to do with it, even though the power lines are right there, even though it starts right there, even though there's multiple power stations listed. They just point at one of them and play games with your mind. 